It seems like the word impossible just does not exist in Elon Musk's vocabulary. After building the strongest and biggest rocket in the world, the Starship, he just made an even bigger and more powerful spacecraft, the Starship 2.0. What does this next generation Starship look like? And why does SpaceX need such a huge rocket? Join us today in this video as we dive into Elon Musk's insane new Starship 2.0. This next generation spacecraft was built by Musk's company SpaceX. In less than two decades, SpaceX went from Elon Musk's dream of a greenhouse experiment on Mars to conducting the majority of US rocket launches. SpaceX is an aspiring private spaceflight company that sends satellites and people to space, including NASA crews. Founder Elon Musk is also creating and testing a Starship system for lunar landings and, he hopes, future crewed Mars expeditions. It has progressed from one major milestone to the next under Elon Musk's leadership. The firm now runs the most powerful rocket, the Falcon Heavy, while also maintaining ownership of one of the most active rockets, the Falcon 9. SpaceX routinely launches payloads into orbit for commercial enterprises, including itself and government institutions like the US military. NASA also counts SpaceX as a close launch partner, ferrying supplies and crew to the International Space Station. The collaboration is likely to become much deeper, with SpaceX playing an important role in NASA's missions to the moon and beyond. But aside from helping NASA and the military, what is SpaceX's and Musk's main purpose to build this Starship? Even after owning the most powerful rocket in existence, it never became a hindrance for Musk to achieve even more. The Starship 2.0 currently being built by Musk will help his dreams come true. Though the multi-talented billionaire has already accomplished a lot, his most ambitious goal is to start a colony on Mars, inhabiting people permanently on the planet. But doing this is not a child's play as Musk's plan calls for about 1 million people to be transported from Earth to Mars. But you can't just drop a million people in the harsh environment of Mars. You have to prepare the environment for their arrival. Tons of cargo are required to offer everything required, including life support systems, food, equipment, and so forth. NASA's massive space launch system rocket will be capable of launching 95 metric tons into low Earth orbit. NASA and its contractors, led by Boeing, will be able to construct one spacecraft every year. The machines have comparable lift capacities. A Starship should be capable of putting around 100 tons into low Earth orbit. Yet, SpaceX is now capable of manufacturing one spacecraft every month. Each booster and spacecraft will be reused hundreds of times. This would dramatically reduce space travel costs and transport the huge cargo required for the Mars mission. Musk calls it the holy grail of space technology. Even though the Starship 2.0 would require four times as many engines as the original, maybe 120 to 150 Raptors. For the new Super Heavy and 24 for the Starship 2.0, the structure would only require twice as much steel and twice as much heat shielding. Wielding and ring stacking jobs would also be doubled, although they would be mostly automated. So, a Starship 2.0 might be substantially cheaper than four of its predecessors. Not half as much, but by no means four times as much. When fully assembled, the Starship is over 400 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty. It is also taller than the Saturn V rocket, which sent American men to the moon during NASA's Apollo mission. The Starship is meant to be nearly twice as powerful as the Saturn V and has a 30-foot diameter, making it larger than existing orbiting vehicles. This will allow for the transportation of large amounts of cargo for a large number of passengers at the same time. The Starship is launched into orbit aboard the Super Heavy rocket booster. However, as the two halves of the spacecraft exit the Earth's atmosphere, they separate at the edge of space. As the Starship continues to circle, the Super Heavy rocket that propelled it into space returns to land near its launch pad. However, the booster will not fall directly because a giant tower outfitted with mechanical arms, which Musk refers to as chopsticks, would grasp the descending rocket and gently land it. The spacecraft will likewise land on its side in Earth's atmosphere. The Starship will restart its engines shortly before landing to turn itself vertically for a smooth landing. The Starship has undergone several improvements even before its maiden orbital test flight. For example, SpaceX has been working on the Raptor rocket engine, which gives propulsion to the Starship. SpaceX is currently developing a version of these engines that has higher thrust. It's easier to construct and costs less to produce. 
To be clear, Elon Musk has not created a race of evil warriors that cry exterminate as they take over the world. The Raptor 2 engine will power SpaceX's Starship rockets and huge Super Heavy boosters. Each Super Heavy booster will be propelled by 33 Raptor 2 engines, while the Starship spacecraft will be propelled by 9 Raptor 2 engines. The Raptor 2, like SpaceX's veteran Merlin engines on Falcon 9 rockets, is meant to be reusable as are the Starship and Super Heavy spacecraft. Raptor 2 is the outcome of several years of development for SpaceX's Raptor engines. It features a more streamlined design than SpaceX's original Raptor, with fewer intricate tubing and plumbing systems. We can also see Musk showing off the power of his new engines in his tweet. He said, Raptor 2 rocket engines at Starbase, each producing over half a million pounds, 230 tons of force. The financial implications were also mind-boggling even before Musk announced the new Starship. Despite its size and power, the rocket system is less expensive than the Falcon 9, owing to its reusable architecture. Musk has disclosed that Starship flights might cost as little as $2 million each launch, compared to $62 million for each Falcon 9. So, picture the new, larger, and more powerful Starship 2.0. There's no getting around it. Starship 2.0 is massive. Musk said that it is up to eight times bigger than the present model. According to the CEO, the Starship 2.0 will be 18 meters in diameter, more than doubling the nine meters of the version his company is working on. Musk is not satisfied with the reduction and wants to go bigger. The initial design of the Starship was 12 meters in diameter before it was slimmed down, indicating that Musk is not satisfied with the reduction and wants to go bigger. One thing about rockets is that they are built in proportions. For example, after doubling the diameter, the height must also be adjusted. So, let's assume SpaceX increases its current height of 120 meters. Starship 2.0 stands 240 meters tall. This will result in a nine-fold increase in volume. Nevertheless, the new height is the same as the iconic Woolworth Building in New York and three-quarters the height of Paris's Eiffel Tower. According to this computation, Starship 2.0 could carry up to 1,000 tons of cargo every launch. If SpaceX had kept the Starship's previous form, it could potentially lift 300 tons every launch. But this enormous improvement would more than triple that storage capacity. Of course, more Raptor engines will be required for Starship 2.0. We might see more than 100 engines each launch. This is why SpaceX is aiming to make their Raptor and its successor cheaper and faster to construct, because they will need a lot of them soon. The Sea Dragon, created by Robert Tro in the 1960s, was the most powerful rocket ever imagined. It was 150 meters tall and could raise 550 tons at once. However, it was never built. That would not be the case with Starship 2.0, which is significantly more powerful, since Musk has a different aim in mind for the updated rocket, transporting 1 million people on Mars. With the current Starship, Musk can send about 100 people at once. This would take him around 10,000 trips to complete his mission of inhabiting a million people and would drastically increase the cost of transportation. But with the new Starship 2.0, around 1,000 people can be sent at once. This would significantly cut short the number of trips required and reduce transport costs as well. With that being said, there have been rumors about having another secret spacecraft other than the Starship 2.0. This technology is said to be impossible to achieve, but has Musk accomplished the impossible before? It is known as the warp drive. A warp drive is a fictitious spacecraft propulsion engine that allows a starship to travel faster than light. A starship won't have to travel faster than light inside a local reference frame. It would traverse distances by compressing space in front of it and expanding space behind it. This would result in faster than light travel. Within regular spacetime, objects cannot accelerate to the speed of light. Instead, the Alcubierre drive alters space around an item to allow it to reach its target faster than light would in normal space without violating any physical rules. As you are all aware, the universe is vast. Could we, on the other hand, design a ship that travels faster than the speed of light? Harold White, a NASA scientist and the head of the advanced propulsion team, oversaw the space agency's efforts to determine whether a faster than light warp drive is feasible. And, if so, how to build one? He made a model and design for a spacecraft like the Enterprise from Star Trek. 
White oversaw an interferometer experiment designed to evaluate such an influence at the nanoscale. One piece of good news is that a more comprehensive review of math has debunked prior fears that a hypothetical warp drive may wipe out entire star systems. Although research shows that this is unlikely to be a problem, ships near the warp drive ship may still be at risk. Could Elon Musk, the SpaceX, and Tesla entrepreneur become a real-life Zephyrin Cochran? The fictional Star Trek inventor of warp drive. Astronomer Neil deGrasse Tyson and his scientific authority appear to believe so, and if it does happen, it will shape a new future for mankind. Anyways guys, if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so that you don't miss out on the latest Elon Musk news.